Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about KA02 report short for Knowledge Assessment Report 02. In this video we will introduce you to IPANS. Then we will discuss Knowledge Assessment Report 02. And at the end the elements of KA02 report. So let's get started. So first of all let me introduce you to IPANS. Short for Institution of Professional Engineers New Zealand. Also known as Engineers New Zealand. IPANS is a non-profit professional entity representing the engineering professionals in New Zealand. Now comes the KA02 report. It is a technical application required by the IPANS for Migration Skills Assessment of Engineers and ICT Professionals to attain skilled migration of New Zealand. KA02 can also help you if your educational institution of the engineering and ICT professionals is not accredited by the Washington Accord. Otherwise the KA01 application is required for the Washington Accord accredited graduates. Writing a KA02 report needs some techniques. In this portion we will discuss those techniques. First in this report explain each activity in depth just stating an activity is not enough for your KA02 report. English proficiency is also required to write this report. You need to have profound knowledge in particular engineering discipline without it you cannot write a KA02 report. And you need to add at least two examples in each elements to make your KA02 report more effective. Then you need to provide a cross-reference to your academic transcript and continuing professional development records, as appropriate. And keep in mind that all the details must be in first-person singular for example right I performed this, I worked on this. Ok now we will discuss the elements of the KA02 report. There are 8 elements which make up the report. First element is systematic theory-based understanding of the natural sciences. Second element is conceptually based mathematics, numerical analysis, statistics, and formal aspects of computer. Third element is systematic, theory-based formulation of engineering fundamentals. Fourth element is engineering specialist knowledge. Fifth element is knowledge that supports engineering design. Sixth element is knowledge of engineering practice in the engineering discipline. Seventh element is comprehension of the role of engineering in society and identified issues in engineering practice. And the eighth and the final element is engagement with selected knowledge in the research literature of the discipline. Why choose review my CDR? We offer on time delivery, 24 7 support. Economic prices. Plagiarism free work. Professional writers. Five star rating from the migration agents around the globe, and 100% money back guarantee. Do contact us if you need any help. Thank you for watching our video.